Hi Virgo, this is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do another read for you guys. Let me say thank you guys so, 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 so much. I actually cried earlier because you guys came through for your girl and I absolutely, um, I appreciate every last one of you. I really do. And that just makes me want to go even harder for you guys as my YouTube community. So um, even though that sent the just sent messages and emails, you know, just words of encouragement, like I really 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 appreciate um appreciate it all you know i had to put my pride to the side and ego and all of that so i'm very very thankful just wanted to say that let's get into you guys' read here and trust and believe this is only setting me up to come back that much stronger absolutely every every mega star got a story now trust and believe your girl is a mega star we only in today we still got to get to tomorrow and five years from now you know so Laugh now and cry later. Or cry, what is it? Yeah, laugh now and cry later. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let me get into this read for you guys. Calm the energy. Some of you guys uh, may be really, really excited about something. I do feel like there's something exciting that's coming towards you. Um, something that you're going to have to relax for. Something that you're going to have to um, get yourself almost prepared for or get yourself in the energy uh, to receive. Okay. Um, but I just feel like a lot of uh, excitement, almost like the fireworks type energy jumping up and down. That type of thing. Okay. So what messages do you have for Virgo? Let's see. Look at what we have here. We have the six of uh, pentacles. So that lets me know there is success that is here for you. There is success that is coming your way. I feel like you have people around you that are going to be um, patronizing you. If you do have a business, I'm hearing raise for some of you guys as well. If you guys were looking to get positions of work or anything like that, that will be coming towards you as well. This money that's coming. If you can see the lights, the rays that are coming from it, that lets you know that it is a, a ray of sunshine that is coming uh, towards you in matters of money, success, opportunities. Even if it's not money, it's some type of opportunity. OK, we have the rock star at the bottom of the deck. This is the Knight of Wands. So there is some type of op opportunity that is coming towards you very quick. Or there's also something that you should be taking action on as well. OK, um, I'm going to leave this. This here. Also, if there is, uh, if this is in regards to uh, a love uh, relationship or a love experience, there is somebody that is in your energy that wants to give to you, that wants to give you some type of equal give and take relationship. It's going to be a balanced out relationship or connection. Okay. Uh, this person is very fun. This person is very uh, sparky. This person likes to um, kind of like that nightlife. They're very adventurous. As you see, they are the rock. Rock star. So this person gets a lot of attention as well, or this could also be you getting a lot of attention, but, um, uh, as you're dating and so forth. We also have the Knight of Disc here at the bottom of the deck. So you can have multiple people that you're dating as well. If this is in regards to a love relationship and with this eight here, uh, with, uh, this eight of wands here, swiftness, we have something that is coming towards you very, very quickly. Okay. Somebody may want to take you out on a date to a very nice restaurant or place. So we have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups, the costume designer. Some of you guys may actually be designers, clothing, fashion designers, or very um, creatives. Many of you guys are creatives. I do feel like there is some type of new offer, new opportunity that is here, and it's coming in quickly. And like I said, it's going to be... Um, very uh, action oriented, very creative oriented, but it's also uh, very fulfilling emotionally, I feel as well. I do feel you may have some type of surprise coming as well or something unexpected happen happening with this offer or what with whatever's coming towards you and whether it's opportunity or whether it's love work, it does not matter. I do feel like there's some type of surprise or like I said before, it's something for you guys to get excited about. And then we have have the Aeon, um, which is judgment, uh, the judgment card. So I feel like you're here to leave your name on, on this, uh, on earth. You see how she is looking at the different people of those who have come here on this journey, on the voyage, uh, previous to her. These are all the names of people, um, in, in history, uh, 
I can't remember what this is for. Where uh, it was, it's a, a place in New York. Uh, I can't think of the of the exact place right now. But these are all names of deceased uh, people that came before her, and she's there looking at the memorial um, of all these people. So what I'm getting is that you are here to leave your mark on this world. You're here to make sure that your name is included and in the list of names of people who had something to do with changing this world. Okay. Uh, look at this. We have the three of wands here at the bottom of the deck. So whatever it is, you are moving very forward, very quickly. Emergency like uh, this again, I'm, I was going to say surprise or being caught off guard. Something's coming. That's going to catch you off guard and you're going to have to make some type of decision very, very quickly. And I don't think you're, you, you may be kind of um, thinking, what am I making the right decision? Am I making the right decision since it's happening so uh, quickly and spirits is, is saying yes you are making the right decision I'm hearing whatever first comes to your intuition so whatever decision you have to make if there's different choices the first thing that comes to your intuition is what it is that you should do everything else that comes after is just to cloud you okay let's get some oracle here spirit what messages do you have for Virgo what messages do you have for Virgo I'm just gonna pull three of these okay we have two here. So we have emotional loss. So some of you guys in the heart space may need some type of Reiki. I do offer Reiki services, but I feel like your heart chakra could be blocked or you could have experienced um, some type of heartbreak at this time right now or something that's just causing a lot of pain or cause uh, some pain or some type of disappointment. Again, this could be in love. This could be family. This could be any type of thing. Your finances, uh, maybe you didn't get a job of something. But don't worry about that. That no was meant to be a no because your yes is coming. OK, uh, but you guys, uh, some of you guys are experiencing emotional loss. If this is not you, then this is somebody around you. OK, and um, you would know that if it's somebody around you because it would resonate with you to know that there is somebody that is sad that they that that you're no longer in their life. Or maybe you guys had some type of disagreement. Maybe they are in your life, but you guys had some type of disagreement or argument or something like that. OK, and then we have universe. So this is letting me know that any and everything you want, it's possible for you to manifest right now at this time. OK, this is like the world card. So I definitely feel like you guys are changing cycles. You guys are closing out an old cycle of um, possibly past traumas, past ways of thinking, uh, the way you, you you think about money and love and even yourself, just everything in your life is just a complete close. It's, the cycle is closing out and you're coming into a new chapter for yourself, for your life at this time. OK, yeah. Look at this bottom of the deck. We have heartache and loss, heartache and loss again. So somebody really is experiencing some type of heartache, some type of pain uh, here. OK, but I do feel spirit is telling you to keep persevering, keep moving forward. Uh, and know that this too shall pass okay let's see let's get one more spirit one more message for Virgo spirit one more message for Virgo Okay, destiny. Yes, you're on your destined path. So I will say that this emotional loss is in the past. Um, I don't feel uh, that that's that's going to be continuing anymore. And so if you're still in this energy of being sad, do something that you that you know that will pick you up or make you laugh. Watch watch a movie or something. But just do something where it can kind of almost immediately switch your thoughts, even if you have to go to sleep. Okay. I hope you guys can see these cards uh, right because I'm not doing it the selfie mode. So hopefully this is in the camera angle for you guys to be able to see them all but you are on your destined path okay like I said things are ending and beginning we have that 10 up there for those cycles you are exactly where you're supposed to be again you're on your destined path making sure that you leave your name here on this earth before you leave okay let's get uh, some heart messages and then I am going to close this out if you guys are interested in a personal read they are only $35 okay so please click the link down below below if you want to get one of those all right I also do phone readings for 30 minutes as well so you can click the link for that please continue to thumbs up my videos and if you are new please subscribe to the channel 
Spirit, what messages? I'm waiting for one to fall out, you guys. If one doesn't fall out, then I'll just pick one. There we go. And we'll also read the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. It's all about the memory. So what I'm getting from this is make sure that your energy is at its highest level. Make sure that you are passing out um, good energy to other people and that you're you're making sure that you actually have fun with the people that are around you and having that those laughs and everything else, knowing that it's not worth being sad for long, no matter what it is you're going through, because all you really have is love and the memories that you have shared with the ones you love. OK, at the bottom of the deck, we have if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. There we go with our heart chakra energy again. OK, so I feel like there's some heart work that needs to be done, but also meditate and go within and find out what really makes you happy, Virgo, in your love life, in your career life, your finances, all of that. Find out what it is that you want for yourself and then pursue that. OK, thank you so much again, Virgo, for your continued support and please like this video and subscribe to the channel until next time bye Virgo